Hey, what's up guys? J.M. Ryerson with another Tuesday Tune-Up. I have a special guest today, Mr. Matt Boudreau, CEO of Acton Schools here in Placer County, public speaker, overall great dude. Appreciate that. Yeah, man. I wanted to bring you on because I think it's so cool, the concept that you have with the school. Mm -hmm. And we're obviously learning more about it, but I just think people should hear about the new idea that it's maybe it's not new, but it's certainly an updated version for curriculum. So can yeah. you kind of talk about that? Thanks, man. No, it's, it is an updated version, but it's something that especially on the heels of, of everything that this country is going through, it is, we're really hitting this kind of emperor has no clothes moment in schools, right? We've been saying for a long time, schools need to look different. Schools need to look different. But nobody's actually doing it. Everybody's complaining. We're complaining by just creating something that we think is more relevant to the 21st century. You know, so I tell parents all the time, this is not a school. This is a workplace for young people. So all of our students from 5 to 18 are driving their own academic journey. So they're learning to set goals, becoming people that set goals for themselves on a daily and weekly basis. Drive that academic journey for yourself. We want them to understand how to actually have logical conversations, how to think through problems, how to sit down and go, okay, here's what I believe. Here's why I believe it. Let me hear what you believe and why you believe that. And then we can go back and forth, understand each other's point of view, and then get this, if we disagree, which eventually you will, hey man, high five, we can still go out and, and be buddies. But then more importantly, we want them to understand how to do real world things. All of our students end up starting a business every single year or taking their business into perpetuity. Um, they end up taking on real projects, real quests, so that by the time they're at the high school level, they have an idea of who they are, what their superpower is, yeah. and then we can set them forth in the community with real apprenticeships, real internships. So they're going forward going, man, this is what I'm really, really good at. This is what I'm really, really passionate about. This is the value I can bring to the world. And they're connecting with other people in that arena to go forward and actually create change. So you have three kiddos, so this yep. isn't just philosophical. All three of your kids are in this program. And let me just tell you, you meet kids for the first time and you learn a lot about parenting and you learn a lot about their background. The four-year-old, well, first off, the nine, seven, and four, if I got that right, <laughs> yeah, you got all of them yeah. walked up and said, hey, my name is, and so nice to meet you. Look at me in the eye, mm -hmm. down to the four-year-old. Yep. So that's... I mean, I'm sure you're an incredible parent. I did get to watch you and your wife do that. But that's something that you do at the school as well. Is that right? It is, man. Yeah. And thank you for that. And, you know, we're, we're blessed. We're some really good kids. And, and I give my wife more credit on the parenting side. And I always tell my kids, I'm going to be the reason you go to therapy for something. So I'm sure I will screw something up. Right. But it is a part of what we do that we understand that those kind of human connections don't ever go away as much as technology is changing so many things the humanity of who you know that that doesn't change it doesn't go away and it matters our kids know showing up on time or showing up early matters looking people in the eye shaking their hands matters saying look here's who i am and here's what i'm going to do and keeping your word that matters so we start every single day on time every studio has their morning meeting where if again five years old up to 18 everywhere in between they're looking at each other and they're either shaking hands or saying good morning how are you and they start every day like that to, to realize that that's a, you know, it's an important piece and it always will be. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. So I, again, we're going to get into this deeper on a podcast. So guys, you'll get a chance to watch Matt on, or listen to him on a podcast. But specific to, I know the Socratic method is a big part of what you all do. Yeah. And it's just such a, a the idea is so foreign for most of us because yeah. again my mom was a school teacher for 39 years yeah so the idea was so radical and then immediately you know we're sending our youngest you know to check it out yeah. so i guess that's a lot said in one thing why is socratic method so important yeah and then ultimately once you answer that how can people find you how can they find out more about yeah you? very cool man so you know, if you think about it, just, you know, you have kids and anybody that's been around kids, one of the kids, you know, their favorite question as a young person is just why? Why? They want to know why. They want to go further and further. And they can literally keep a conversation going just, okay, why? Well, because this. Okay, but why that? Right? And you continue. But that's how real learning works. So when we talk about the Socratic method, that's essentially what we're doing. We're saying, look, we're going to force you to kind of take a hard position so that you truly understand do I believe this because somebody told me to believe it? Or do I believe it because I actually know the ins and outs? And if I don't, that's okay. 
But now maybe I'm curious enough to go find what I believe, right? It's information is available. It's never been more readily available. You know, you're my, that's great. She was a teacher at that point. That's, we needed those people to disseminate the information. Information is readily available. So we want people to understand how to differentiate between good information, bad information. How do I take that and incorporate that, change that? Um, incorporate that with what I'm passionate about, right? Like the Socratic method gives us the tools to be able to start down the rabbit hole for all of those things. That's why it's so important to get back to the understanding of logic. It's it's the the foundation of self-awareness. It's all of those things. So, um, you know, if you're interested in, in Acton Academy, you can check out actonplasser.com. Um, you can find us uh, on Instagram, Facebook. We're on all of those, um, you know, relevant social media links at Acton Placer. Uh, and you can always reach out to me too, um, just at my name uh, on any of those platforms as well. I'm always glad to discuss. And if you're not near, you know, kind of the, the Placer County area, or again, we're opening one up in Sacramento. If you're outside of that, go to actonacademy.org. Uh, and you'll see kind of this network. There's a lot of us globally doing this exact same thing. Um, you can go and see if there's one near you. Guys, change is obviously not always people's favorite thing, but the world is evolving. I'm telling you, check it out. It is so cool. I, I, We're taking our youngest because we just believe in it that much. So thank you guys for checking us out. Look at letsgowin.com if you have any more questions. Check us out at Let's Go Win 365, and we will see you next week. Thank you so much for being here, Matt. Thank Appreciate you, man. it. Pleasure's mine.